Hello friends and welcome aboard the Jewel of the Seas. Today we are taking you on an entire ship tour forward to F all the way through showing you some of our favorite spots on board this ship and we're starting off right on deck number 13 here at the Putt Putt. Let's have some fun in the sun and get ready to play and take you on through the ship. <laughs> now we have this cool bridge that connects the Putt Putt walking on over the water slide here which is super cool you have to be 46 inches to ride the water slide and beneath is the kids splash area and then we also have a half court basketball net and we also have the soccer as well so i've seen people play soccer and shoot some hoops but i think it's just fun to walk over this and then we have the rock climbing wall so over here is where they'll set up all the lounge chairs and you can enjoy some relaxation in the sun here. Rock climbing always requires quite a bit of uh, upper strength as well. So let me know if that's something you would like to try. And then we can head on into one of the areas of the ship here where the lounge is on deck 13 as well. And our first venue inside will be Vortex. So this lounge is Vortex where you can see a lot of nightlife come to life. It also has the great observation here. So you have the bar and some chairs to enjoy the view of the rest of the ship. You can do some people watching. Right now, there is a dance class happening. So people are taking a class, but you can look out onto the rest of the ship right now and do a little bit of uh, people watching. Oh, someone's on the jogging track, enjoying the morning of the ship. So now we went in through the other door, but this is the Vortex 13, the entrance on the inside here. So throughout the ship right now, this is actually a charter. So there's a dance, crews going on. So that's why we're going to see a lot of dance classes happening in certain venues, learning how to do some bachata, salsa, merengue. So you'll see that throughout and you'll see some of these signs here, but that's just for our sailing if you see these signs. Now we have the Diamond Club right here as well on deck 13 and you have to use your CPAS card to enter into this lounge. So now we're on deck 12 in the after the ship and now you can get a little bit of a more up close look at some of the activities back here with the sports court, the half court, along with the soccer as well. Of course, there's lots of loungers all around this area so you can enjoy. And over here, oh, a rare sighting of people actually playing shuffleboard. What? That's amazing. The one time I played shuffleboard, I actually broke one of the sticks. So I don't play shuffleboard anymore. But this is a fun area called Country Club. So there's just the seated chairs back here. And then you can kind of enjoy the relaxation here in the after the ship. And walking on through, again, of course, amazing views of the aft. Lots of seating here. And I'll show you some more. Now, just on the starboard side here, still on the aft, we have the outdoor seating and the sign for Izumi right inside, which is a specialty dining restaurant that you can enjoy. Here's a look as well at the menu of Izumi here. So, sushi lovers rejoice, as I like to call here for this Japanese cuisine. We'll take a little look inside. So you can do some perfect pairing with sushi. Ooh, I want some. Sounds really yummy here. So a smaller venue here and something different with this is that they don't have the hibachi that you may have seen on other ships. So this is just a sushi restaurant. And now back through the kids section. This is where the water slide comes out and the pool here. So the depth is one foot three inches in the center there is where it gets a little bit deep. And then you have the waiting area right around here. This is the tower to climb up the 
uh, stairs for the slide here. Of course, they do have the hours of operation, so you want to check that for your cruise. And then the height is 46 inches for, for that. Oh, and then they do allow you to go down with your kid. So that's pretty cool, uh, actually, because I feel like a lot of places don't do that. So fun, fun to try that. And then your youngest kiddos here have this little section with this little slide to slide on down. So fun times. If you had x-ray vision, you could look on through this area right here. And that's actually the kids club, which we will show you as well. So on this ship here, they don't have the Royal baby and tots for the youngest cruisers, but they do have some playtime that is taking place in fuel, which is the area for the teens. And you can have some side by side uh, time with the kiddos in that area. But other than that, um, you don't have that for the kiddos. It's just ages then three to 12 in the one area, which we'll show you. So this is here, the Royal Babies and Tots open play here. So as you can see, this space is uh, geared right now with 14 since it has the foosball table, but then they have the open play. So with the books and the toys on the floor is from that. And then they have all of this area here, uh, the rules for the open play to keep the books and toys in this space here. And then some wipes as well for you to wipe it all down afterwards and then we also have the arcade which is right next to the kids clubs here so if you're looking to give your kid some free play and time in the arcade you can load up their c pass card and play all these different games here and then there's instructions on this kiosk on how to do that so you can add up the money so they can kind of allot themselves throughout the cruise of how much you want to allow them to spend inside the arcade here now this area is super cool here this is the loyalty desk here you step on down and we have this area but something that's really unique about this ship here is that you can look all the way down from deck 12 all the way down to deck number four so super super scary but also fun to look on down and see so we have the different uh, areas where you can just kind of like walk around and and hang out here and it will lead us also up onto the top deck of the pool. This one is just window here, but we can exit out on the other side to get out onto that deck. So as we look around, you'll see um, this is not a normal eyesore that you would see. This is equipment for, of course, this is a dance charter cruise, as I explained. So the flags are not a permanent fixture. This is like speakers and sound systems for the different dance classes that are happening throughout the ship, along with the flags as well. And so this other speaker system here and stage is not a normal fixture, so you can just use your imagination as that won't be on your cruise unless you book the next uh, dance charter as well. But we'll walk around and show you elsewhere throughout. And this is the jogging track. As you can see, I'm walking the wrong direction and whoopsie. <laughs> So here is the sky bar where you can grab yourself some nice frozen drinks, perhaps enjoy all of the sunshine from the cruise. Maybe order up a pina colada. What's your favorite? All the outside bars are great for those frozen cocktails. As we walk on through here to the very forward of the ship, we're looking at some really big glass paneling. So this is kind of neat because it's an inside pool area and it doesn't look like it's retractable. I haven't seen it open at all throughout the cruise either, but that's a fun pool area that you can peek down into and do some more people watching, but we're going to head on to the very forward of the ship so you can see some more. Now for me personally, it's been a little while since I have sailed on a smaller ship. So I'm really enjoying all the different type of things that make a small ship so unique and special and, and fun is the fact that you can walk from one area on the ship to another pretty easily. Another thing, perhaps with the jogging track, is maybe it's a few more laps to go around 
to make it that one mile or one kilometer. So one mile, you need to do six laps around. I feel like it might be like four or five on some of those bigger ships, just because more of a venue. And then we also are gonna just walk around and see from this side. Now inside we have the Vitality Fitness Center here. So if you're looking to do any exercise throughout your cruise, you can do so. They have all the free weights and machines we'll show you through. And if you're enjoying the video thus far, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. We have arrived to deck 11 and the forward of this ship now is the entrance into Vitality Spa. And the one thing to note though about the Vitality Spa here on this ship is that they actually don't have a thermal suite, which is a little bit of a bummer, uh, but I did get a $50 certificate to use towards a service on my cruise. So perhaps you can look out for one of those, cross your fingers that one of those might uh, come to you as well. And always look out for those deals that can be had as well. If you are curious about the type of offerings that these type of venues will have or sales throughout your cruise, always try to look for a sea day uh, or excuse me, look out for a port day service because they have different pricings depending on. And if you want to see a whole list of the different type of activities and then services and sales that they might have, you can look out on my website, oanazagano.com, and I post up all the daily planners that you can check out as well. Now we are in one of the most unique solariums that I have ever seen on a Royal Caribbean ship here. Check this out. It feels like we have stepped into Thailand. So this solarium is completely enclosed here. So you have the pool on the inside here, and it is a bit deep, five feet, five inches for uh, the depth of that, but you can walk around all of it. And it also has the whirlpool, the bar here, and this solarium actually has a cafe too, which is nice to grab a little afternoon snack if you're in between meal times. Here at this cafe, I've seen them do tomato and mozzarella sandwiches. They have other types of snacks as well. They had roast beef, cookies, light bites. They have a bar popped up here as well. And then just the seating around to enjoy your meal. And it is warmer and very comfortable in this area as it's enclosed. Now on the main pool deck, we have the towel station here. You can ask your stateroom host for two towels uh, and they will deliver those to your room for you. Just make sure that they get returned in your room by the end of the cruise or at the towel stand there. So you can take those off the ship as well, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna take those home with you because they will charge you $25. But whoa, look at the pool. We're, we're rocking here at sea today. So you can see the water splashing around a bit and everyone's enjoying themselves. So this is the pool bar as well. Up here, you have the sign for Jewel of the Seas. This is where you kind of know that it is a fun thing because the ships don't really do these anymore and uh, sometimes they're hidden back in uh, crew sections before that I've heard from other ships they're they're taken down so I like to see those but uh, two whirlpools over here as well and this blow up won't be on your cruise <laughs> but you can enjoy the whirlpools and the and the splashing pool. So it looks like they're washing the floors here. So we're gonna proceed with caution, but as this area will have tables set up, and this area is the smoking section, and on the other side is not, and this will lead us right into the wind jammer as we walk around. So this is the art gallery here, a few different paintings perked up on the wall. And then if you wanna do any of the art seminars, they have those and you can walk around. We'll hit the wind jammer, but we also have a view of what's going on downstairs. Again, those flags are specific for our sailing and you can walk on through and we'll see what's for lunch. So some of the buffet food that we have is some of the cold cuts and breads here. There's also all of the fresh fruit here, pineapple, cantaloupe, watermelon. 
This is one that I've been enjoying here is the vegetable stir fry with the Mongolian wok. You can make it kind of spicy. I've been enjoying that. And I've also seen it at dinner time with noodles. Um, she's just doing the vegetables, but I guess you could find other rice on the buffet here as well to add in if you wanted that. Indian cuisine on the menu as well here. Of course, you got to have your hamburgers, your cheeseburgers, your fries. They have veggie burgers as well available on request and all of the fixings. And then there's the bar area here to get all the beverages and then the seating around. I have to say loads of uh, floor to ceiling chairs as well and then the places to grab a seat. Schooner Bar is the park club. Giovanni Nice table and chops grill here. So this just might be my favorite schooner bar. Take a look at all of this here. Giant boats. You can get in this one as well. My daughter loved to jump in that one and play it with that steering wheel of that boat. Just the decor here is worth noting and taking in here as you walk on through this hallway. I like it. It's showing how cool dark wood can really look with all of the vibe here another giant sailboat so cool so because schooner bar is basically all along this hallway there's quite a bit of seating too so we have the bar on the one side here and then we have the entrance into chops grill so this is a specialty dining restaurant royal caribbean's signature steakhouse so inside we have the open style kitchen concept and all of the dining here. So you can enjoy some delicious fillets and enjoy. They have some really cute booths here as well for you to sit and enjoy your meal. If you have the dining package as well, maybe something for you to look into. So if you have the dining package, you can look into dining in Chops Grill for lunch along with dinner. So here's the piano. Schooners will have nightly entertainment of singing here. And then here is the next specialty dining restaurant, Giovanni's Table. Let's take it in. This is additionally where the chef's table is located. So this is Giovanni's table. If you enjoy Italian cuisine, Giovanni's table would be a specialty dining that you want to check out. And now we have the Safari Club, which is I think the most unique area on the ship here this is a huge space which i just want to hang out here all the time so in this first section here we have the pool tables here and just notice the size of how big they are really grand oversized seating here and we're moving into all of the safari theme here these giant giraffes zebra print couches some leoparding into the red in the couches here. We have leopard chairs up there as well. And this is where there's this really dark wood. So in this room is really cool because not only is there the dance floor in the center, I mean, it's total mood lighting right now as well, but this is the Serengeti Card Club. So in here, if you were to rent this space out for like a private party, get this. These right here pull on up and create these walls that separate the dance floor from Hall of the Action, which is so cool. I think that's amazing. And just the sheer size of this space. I understand it's super dark in here right now. All right, so super cool that you can rent out this space. Also just the amount of seating here another piano and what makes this particularly so unique is that this space is the very aft of the ship here so we're looking out onto the aft and the wake behind us here so cool that we can get this close this low as well now there's the bar here as well what makes this 
special is that on other ships, on the larger ships, this area of the ship is normally a main dining room in the very aft of the ship. So the fact that this is a huge lounge space available just to hang out and enjoy makes it just, I want to spend like a couple sea days just hanging out here, relaxing, enjoying these big windows and taking it all in. I feel like this would be the spot where you could find me hanging out. There's additional chess and checker tables here. You can sit at these high tops and play. There's both pieces here as well. So let me know if you know how to play chess, leave me a comment if uh, you'll teach me because I don't know how to play. I only know how to play checkers. I need, I need, I need some help. <laughs> Making my way out of the safari club and back through schooners and just a reminder to always look up because there's like the basing of a ship above us too which is just so cool so now we're moving on over and we're still on deck six but guess what there's more so now we have vintages which is the special wine bar on board. So they have special drink specials. Look at that cute chair. A little photo app. So you can get light bites at Vintages as well. Enjoy all of the views from these windows here. And listen to all the live music that's happening right in the heart of the ship here. So, music overflowing, and right now, everyone's getting ready for some dancing and having some fun. Deck six, Walk, making our way forward, we have the casino. The Pit Stop, which is a whole other separate bar here. Kind of like your sports bar with the different TVs, playing the different sports channels, different seating areas here. Uh, a nod to the racetrack here as well. And look at the Pit Stops over there on the, on the camera, on the pictures I made. So now, we can walk around and we're headed to the Coral Theater, which is the main theater where you can catch the nightly entertainment. And here, let's take a look. Now, if you find yourself wanting to see any of the nighttime entertainment, if you are concierge, key, pinnacle, or diamond plus, you can get reserved seating in uh, there. So something to look out for. If you're wanting to catch a show, you can enjoy a nice park. Now we're wrapping ourselves around. Coral Theater, by the way, is on two different floors. So on the other side here is something that's very unique and special on uh, the Jewel of the Seas. So here, I love this, it's the cinema on board. So, really giving us some fun vibes. Let's take a look inside. It is not safe for us. I brought you close. I will sneak you out at nightfall. Do you own me now? So throughout the cruise, they'll have different showings. Like right now, they're showing the Woman King and all the different times that they're showing it throughout the cruise. Different movies each night, which is really cool. And, you know, doesn't matter what type of weather you have on your cruise, you're able to enjoy. For example, like our cruise, a movie's under the star on the pool deck. Wouldn't have been optimal because it was cold and rainy. So this was 
really clutch. So what I really love about this size of the ship is the elevators here. So all of these elevators are actually facing the outside of the ship here. So there's all this open space. So when you ride up and down, you can see up these giant glass windows, which are so cool. And then you have these glass windows as well that look out into the atrium. Now on deck number five, we have an entrance to Tides Dining Room. Tides is open on deck five and deck four. So we'll go ahead and take a look once we reach deck four but different dining times will have you seated on different sections of the dining room. Now we have the next cruise desk. Now, with next cruise, if you're looking to get on a ship and you're already on a ship and you are loving it so much that you wanna come back, go ahead and visit the next cruise desk. Get yourself booked some savings, some deals, but if you don't have that opportunity to book your next cruise while you're on a cruise, go ahead and visit my website, alanatangano.com, and I'll help you get set up with a free cruise coat. My agents, my partners, and I will get you set up. Looking forward to seeing your email so we can help you be on the Jewel of the Seas or any other ship. Now we have Latitudes. Latitudes is the coffee bar serving really coffee here, hot beverages. Now if you have the dining package, this is included on your fare. So here at Latitudes, if you have the drink package, you can enjoy specialty hot coffees as well. Come by and grab here a snack. During the day, they have light bites that are in this case from little sandwiches little treats that you can enjoy as well. And now we have the shops of Centrium here. Now what's really cool is that these shops all line up so you have different areas. So you can always look out for $10 sale to get yourself different types of beach bags, sunglasses, jewelry, scarves, things of that sort, and then always the sales. So they have it separated here by fine jewelry, things that are watches, all of it's duty free for you. And they cross on over to the other section and you have Royal Caribbean merch as well. So the t-shirts that you can enjoy, Island Hopper, different type of things. The t-shirt sale is always one that's a popular one. These are two for 30. They do have the ship model along with spirit jerseys, coffee mugs, a lot. Oh, how cute is this one? Jewel of the Seas. Nice. Looks like some nice coolers for the beach. Ooh, dry bags. I like that. Very nice. And $49 for the ship model. Little bears that are a little captain. So cute. And I like these coffee mugs. Simple, but very nice. 20 bucks. Of course, they have all of the liquor tobacco as well and the duty free also little snacks and they also have toiletries as well in case you forget your toothbrush want more sunscreen other type of cold medicines available for you too if you're looking to get your photo taken outside of the other photo ops they have sessions here that you can reserve and have a sitting fee and then you can also go and peruse the art and photo gallery here for your photos. So they do it, what I like to call old school for the hunt here, and they separate it by occasion. So you have embarkation photos, dining room photos, so it's all separated by the different dining times, you know, first seating, second seating, what dining room, what have you, and you can go on the hunt and look for your photos. And the art gallery is attached to it. So you have fun sculptures here. Peter Max, unicorn. Ooh, look at this one. Wow. Now we're in the middle of the ship in the Centrium again, and we have 
the music, guest services, shore excursions, and Tide's dining room. So shore excursions and guest services are right here. And additionally, a Royal Caribbean Online, so if you need to get on a computer, they have computers for you. When you sign up through Zoom, Internet at Two, powered by Starlink. So now we're in Tide's dining room here. So two different floors seating for you to enjoy your meal here with all of the different dining times from early to late seating along with any time dining. So you have what it looks like and the vibe here as you can dine throughout and enjoy the new Royal Caribbean menu as well that is now released. So looking forward to that. And then some nice photo ops. There's a waterfall there with the piano that everyone loves to take photos on formal night. I hope you enjoyed this ship tour. At this point, you're probably wondering now, Alana, you haven't shown us anything about the accommodations. After you have so much fun on board, where are you going to rest your head? Don't worry, I got you covered. Check out this playlist right here. Show you all the state rooms, even more from the Jewel of the Seas. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, ciao for now.